Welcome everyone to our today's show where we love, laugh and learn. On our today's show, tuna learn vitu mingi sana, tuna learn about big words like entrepreneurship. My guest today Ashafika Studio. Na kwa hii show tuko pamoja na Simama na Kibra. Welcome Farida Kamis. Thank you so much. Karibu jisikie uko nyumbani. Hii ni platform yetu ya vijana tubonge talk show ambayo tunaongelelea about mostly youth matters. So what to invite everyone on board old and the young ndo to address easy issues zenye youth wana face on daily basis. Kwa leo Farida Kamis just in one word. Tuambie wewe ni nani? Describe yourself in one word. <laughs> Mimi sana sana watu wanaita Madam Hasla. So hasla is the one word you go by. Yes. Class kuni ku hasla salario kitu kayo. Yeah yeah yeah. Tell us about yourself your childhood everything from the beginning up to now. Tunataka kukujua kabla tuanze kukupea maswali entrepreneurship. Ah kwa majina kamili ni Farida Salim Khamis. Mimi ni Nimelelewa nimezaliwa na kulelewa Kibra pale kambi moru pale chini darajani ukelekea upande wa Kisumu ndogo. Uh-huh. Nikaenda Kisumu ndogo nasari school nikamaliza nikaenda Shadra Kimalel nikaenda Langata High School. Baada ya Langata High School uh-huh. posa itaja nikaolewa. <laughs> eh, na nimejaliwa nimepata watoto wanne. Mhm. Uh-huh. Ambao naishi nao saizi Kibra Karanja uh-huh. uh, kama mzazi wa kipeke. So it's also happy Father's Day to me. Happy Father's Day to you. <laughs> Thank happy you. Father's Day to everyone yeah. who is doing their best uh-huh. kulea watoto wao. Either kama we ni dad or your mom, you are doing both. Happy Father's Day to everyone. Yeah. So, entrepreneurship. Ulianza liki mimi yojina ni ngumu mtanisamea tu ni kibucha. <laughs> Ulimi yangu ni mzito. <laughs> Iyo, ulianza lini? I started uh, as a kid. Entrepreneur as uh, a kid. Yeah. Ulikuwa uza bano. Kidogo kidogo nilianza nilianza kuuza viazi karai. Nikatoka viazi karai, nikaingia pale DC Red Rose, nikafanya fanya hoteli kwa marehemu mama Shami, akanifunza funza kidogo. Then baada ya kuolewa, nikaanza uh-huh. kufanya kazi ya kuuza viatu kikomba. Uh-huh. Kikomba naye biashara ni pata potea. Kila biashara lazima uchukue ile ile risks. Yeah. So nikafanya kikomba kidogo kidogo nika nikaingia kufanya kazi ya kutengeza sinachuki. Sinachuki mm-hmm. ni njugu ambayo ina unaitwanga inakuwa unga mm-hmm. alafu unatengeza sugar syrup uh-huh. then unachanganya naye. Kama peanut vile. Yes, it's like a peanut but inaitwa sinachuki. Uh-huh. By then in in Majengo I was the first person who started it. So I was supplying it in Kuala supermarket, I was mm-hmm. supplying it in Josta supermarket. So it started up that way. Ah uh, maisha pia ina msukosuko wake. Mhm. Nikaingia simu ya jamii. Hiyo ni kitambo simu ya jamii, simu ya jamii. We were the first people when whereby you cannot even afford to buy a phone. Ericsson T28 was almost 40 50000. So I started at, as simu ya jamii nikiuza nika scratch cards. Ha. Little by little nikaandikwa kazi Sky Mart supermarket. Hizo so, siku siku simu ya jamii ilikuwa a boom business. It was a boom business. Sababu kila mtu akuwa na on phone. Yeah. Ah, hiyo ni throwback kali. So unajaribu unachanganya changanya huko na huko at least maisha yako iweze iweze kusimama. Then alhamdulillah nikaandikwa kazi Sky Mart supermarket. Sky Mart supermarket I was like a supervisor. Mm-hmm. Then all of a sudden it flopped. Flopping going back again but ile simu ya jamii yangu ilikuwa tu pale pale ah. but it, it gave me an idea of being a safari com dealer ilikuwa kama mpesa vile venye mpesa iko squeeze yes ilikuwa kama mpesa ni same same mama uh, by then hata mpesa ilikuwa bado ijaza tulikuwa tunaanza tumeanza kuuza tu scratch cards easy 250 by then the minimum was 250 we didn't even have a say scratch card ya mia mia So it was 250 for those people who had phones. Expensive. Yeah, it was damn expensive. But unapata sana ilikuwa watu wanakuja kupiga simu. Ah, uh, yes. kuna watu wao kupata hii simu ya jamii. 
So unaweza waeleza ilikuwa na waka kama Mpesa siku hizi ama simeja mi difference hiyo simeja mi na Mpesa ni it, it was a, a mode of communication ni kama tu landline pale ah. unaiweka then mtu anakuja anapigia mtu mwingine simu akikulipa maybe 10 bob for 3 minutes ah. so it was just a landline but it was a mode of communication ni kama ambaye watu wale walijali walikuwa na mobile at that time hmm. but wale hawana walikuwa wakuja tu pale pale wala nini but you'll get watu walikuwa wachache sana ambao walikuwa wako na simu za hizi za rununu ah. yeah so quick so, mart ikaanguka hmm. then maisha maisha ikasonga songa tukakuwa safari kwa dealership tukakuwa safari kwa dealers tulishikana eh, alafu katika ile msikosiko ya maisha eh, my marriage fell apart uh-huh. things happen things happen so i had to get back and hustle by myself find something for my kids nikukate kidogo naam easy businesses when you are young na vile ulikuwa kwa marriage ulipata api capital ya kuanzisha mimi ile kitu nyenye nasema hmm. kuna kuna kitu yenye binadamu amezaliwa naye na hiyo na kitu ni talanta mm-hmm. si lazima ukwe umeenda umesoma sikatai si na si masomo ni muhimu <laughs> youth msobe by then hata saa hizi naambia watoto wangu kila siku zawadi ile nitawapa ni masomo hakuna yeah, sure. kitu nyingine hiyo ndio urithi mimi sina shamba ya tinda sema tiktok wangu leo urithi mm-hmm. kesho hii siju niko na gari niko na nini but i'll work hard ah watoto waweze kusoma waweze kujisimamia masomo ni muhimu lakini kuna the second bit talent that second bit talent you are talented in something lazima kuna kitu ambapo ukishika tu hivi itakuwa dhahabu kwako. Yeah. So mimi sijaenda catering. Lakini upishi imekuwa talanta yangu. Ye yeah, ulitap ukiwa mdogo ukiuza hizo viazi karai. Yes. Mm-hmm. And uh, also kwa ndoa. Unajua pia uko kwa ndoa lazima ukuwe na ile action action leo nataka kupikia yeah. mzee hii kesho badilisha kitu fulani. Wana mimi mapishi ndo watu naambiwa. Si wanugo walikuwa tuambia mama wangu alikuwa anambia eh ukitaka kufika kwa roho huyu mzee. Madam <laughs> pika kwanza kama <laughs> ujipo pika yake, utarudishwa uh, utarudishwa kwa threat yeah so hiyo ndio kitu ni at least ile keep moving mm-hmm. kwa sababu mimi nilishika tu biashara abruptly sisemi mm-hmm. kwa ninayo ama mm-hmm. nishatengeza maisha mm-hmm. lakini ile kujikimu paka mm-hmm. size mahali niko mm-hmm. nimejikimu si kwa sababu niko niko na PhD sijui ama grad ama graduate or something sababu ya talent lakini ni ile talanta na ile passion ambapo kwamba unaona inaweza fanya so tuseme kwa mfano mtu ako na talent anajua kushuka nywele anajua kupika hizo viazi karai there are so many things anaweza fanya but now ndo aye establish kama ka biashara lazima apate ile capital wewe yako nani alikupea your first capital ama ulifanyaje fanyaje ukapata pesa ukienda kwa noa wa harusa lazima <laughs> wakati ile nilikuwa mdogo ha. pale tu nyumbani ile kurukaruka ukienda hivi ukifanya vile at least una, unapata viazi pale nyumbani mm-hmm. so madaki mamangu alikuwa ustad madrasa mm. mamangu akitoka madrasa na shinga hey vipi huyu hii <laughs> viazi imeanza aje by then nilikuwa nilikuwa mdogo hata nilikuwa bado sijaenda secondary ah. but nilikuwa tuna ile I, i need my shilling nahitaji mm. shilingi yangu moja mm. i want to stop nagging and asking for everything from mom mm. if i can do this inipatie why should i just sit so viazi madhali alikuwa anaikaga stock unga anaika stock nikajua ah hii unga ikiwekwa rangi ikiwekwa chumvi salad wa, ma, wa madha wetu walikuwa wanapendaga kuweka stock zao bulk bulk Ah. akishtukia anapata nimeanza kakapisho yeah, yeah. na angeza kukudiscourage because mm-hmm. aliona ni a good cause yeah. so at that tender age nimecapture kitu ilikuwa na kupush ulikuwa unataka kwa independent kidogo yes. from zazi mm. but now in your adulthood sasa ukisha kuwa mkubwa umefanya hizo utotoni umefanya business in your marriage now after marriage what is the one business that you ventured in na ikafunguka ikakutoa sasa ikaku ikakupea platform kubwa apart from hizi ndogo ndogo when i was married uh, then after the marriage divorce 
nikaandikwa kazi nilikuwa nafanya kazi ya center mm-hmm. by then nilipata nilipata kwa ajira kwa sababu ya kwenda there was this nubian nubian culture there was a cultural event ya ya nini ya mabibi harusi comp- ah. like a competition yeah? mm-hmm. so when i went there we were with kinalulu hasan we were with so many other people as Nila- contestants yeah mm-hmm. so luckily i was the winner wow so after being a winner mubina the one who hosted the the mm-hmm. event eh mm-hmm. akaniita akaniuliza ah sisi ni nini unaweza fanya kwa eh by the way madam mimi zaidi ya form 4 wacha na mimi hakuna kitu kingine naweza eh, yani masomo mengine nimeenda ha. but uh, akaniambia you are just too good in public relations mm-hmm. and you are also good in sales can mm-hmm. you do sales nikamwambia eh atapigia mtu simu nikaitwa ya center nikaenda nikamwambia by the way mpesa since umefanya mpesa in your previous uh, mm. life mm. sa itabidi utujoin so nikaanza nilikuwa nafanya kazi hapo hapo ya center mm-hmm. nauza scratch cards simu employed now yes employed mm. alafu at that time nika nikakuja nikaona because going home and coming back i was most of the time nilikuwa naenda mapema na narudi late mm-hmm. so natumia uba sana long hours yes mm-hmm. so natumia uba sana so yeah kila uba ikakuja by the way ama driver i'm so passionate about driving at that time ulikusha kufunza driving ama ulikuwa me when i was in marriage i, I used to drive oh, oh. so ilikuwa pia ni katalanta ka flani ka meka ka hapo sasa hizi gari hakuna mm-hmm. unatembea futsubishi <laughs> na malegs yeah so uh, likienda likaudiza mwingine ah by the way kazi yenu ya uba ikoaje mm. most people walikuwa na ni discourage like mm. ah haina kazi nini kidogo kidogo mwingine mm. akaniambia we we kwa zoni dem na wewe muislamu ili returns zako ni poa sana mm. watu wanapeanaga ka tip tip kidogo at least kazi utakosa na utakosa regular clients kwanza mm-hmm. sawa Nafanyo aje akanebenda saiba. Uko na PSV ngambia sina PSV. Uko na good conduct. Naambia good conduct kwanza ni renew juzi kwa sababu ya kazi nafanya. Mhm. Ha, ndapiga hesabu. Boss. Mimi natoka 8. Nikirudi ni 8 to 9. Mhm. Alafu kizidi sana hii kurudi tayari shanletea msukosuko ndani ya nyumba. Sina time na watoto wangu. Shule meeting sisi nikiitwa. Wendi. Siendi. So even my kids were asking like mom Have you forgotten us? Amani aje. Unachoka that one day that utapatiwa ni katikati ya wiki. Watu wako shule. Na pia unakuwa na clean up kwa yes, nyumba hapa and down. You have to do general. Mm-hmm. Unaona una time hata na watu wako. Ai, mm-hmm. nikaona shortcut manze ni Uber. At that time. Hii kazi yenu ulikuwa unafanya ya kuuza scratch cards. Ama ni Hii no. ulikuwa unafanya hapo mali ulikuwa umepelekwa. Yes. So hiyo mshahara yao ndio ilikuwezesha kubaiwa fast uba ama ulifanya uba as employed as employed ah. unaenda unachukua gari kwa mtu uh, if you are registered uh-huh. a registered driver uh-huh. utaenda mtu ako na gari yake you register that ka unafanya na kazi mnaelewana sasa anakurentisha venye watu anarentisha ngam kokoteni so then unamrudisha yes. jioni na returns <coughs> yes do mimi nilianza na company uh-huh. so company walikuwa wana penda kuchukua commission like they are giving you 20% of whatever you earned na nikipiga hesabu at that time kulikuwa na mastrike na nini used to make a lot of money so mm-hmm. nikaona ai nafaidisha mtu wacha nitafute kule ndampatia at least per day by that time it was 2500 excuse me shuka paka 700 mm-hmm. by that time ulikuwa unapatia mtu 2500 ah ako sawa so nikaanza tu hivyo nikaanza na gari ya mtu hivyo mm-hmm. hivyo pole 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 until corona came <laughs> until corona landed yes So after corona mm-hmm. you are here. Hiyo biashara ya kubeba watu nayo imesimama sababu watu wameogopa hata kutoka kwa nyumba. Mm-hmm. And you have kids. You have to fulfill all the responsibilities. Ulipe bills, wafanye mm-hmm. nini everything. After corona now. After Fulfill. corona Uh, by then before corona I was a celebrity. <laughs> I became a celebrity the first Muslim woman Uber driver yeah. everywhere. Ukienda ni Farida, everywhere ukienda ni Farida. But haikuwa na returns corona ilipokuja. But before even that corona came, mm-hmm. niliteguka mguu. Wow, sorry. So that one was like 
Ah, good. A hiccup. This is the end of Farida. Una rent na ningoja, watoto shule na ningoja. I had a lot of stress, debts, and everything. At that point, mm -hmm. sorry to cut. Your hiyo ubando ilikuwa your main source of income. Yes. At that point. Yes. Yeah. We normally have regular clients. Yeah. Uh, in every business, as much as uh, you trust yourself, you have that belief, and you're passionate on what you do. How is it a risk? We have a client yeah. base, Missouri. So I, I had clients, I had people I was taking to the Giri early morning, they were mm. paying, uh, paying me end month. Mm. I had people who would come, most of my clients were JK, JKIA. Mm. So I was going to say, I was going to let you try it. Because I was going to say, 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 So I was going to say, 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 after like three weeks, we ask you, hey, you're a regular client. I'm a particular positive. Hey! We have a source of communication. This lady has been carrying for how long? So, luckily, I had a span of almost two months. I'm a jumper. That's why you're really listed. Yeah. But, I was really nyuma. Quite honestly, I was really nyuma. I was depressed. I was like, Oh, but Alhamdulillah, I also have understanding kids. Mm -hmm. When you are a kid, you are a kid, it's okay, you can mm -hmm. survive. Alafu, you know, you have to say that you have to say that you have to say that it's okay, it's not yeah. the end of it all. We know you, when you have it, you try it. So, you have to say that you have to say that you have to say that you have to say Mm -hmm. Yes, you have friends, but there are things you cannot tell friends. They are also suffering too. Yes. Corona is too. Yes, and also, uh, I realized behind every smile, there's a story to tell. There's a story too. So, ni kakuja ni kona, wacha ni ni one vile ni tafanya. Ramadan mojane my kakuja. I just woke up the second day and I posted in FB. If you need samosas, if you need this. Snacks, fresh juice, please inbox me. You look at you and post to me what happens. I'm only quite so sure if you do no, that, you'll get. There's a, also, a, there's a story in my life that I used to do a hotel in Makina, Kibra. You go to Kibra, you go to Palenyu, you go to Mosque, Biryani, you go to the Mosque, 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 at least when I was there, I earned, I gained trust from these clients. Yeah. So when I was uh, posting it, I was overconfident. You are so sure that you have a client based on Zuri. Yes, you have a client based on Poa. But I had a capital. No. So you are posting and you have a money? Yes. What if a client says that you have a money and you have a money? No, there's deliver? nothing like that. <laughs> There's nothing like that. Allah la leta ga dustra yake. Kila madu kio na pananguka, mwenye zimungu wana koneshe imi lango imefungwa, lazima kuna ingine nita kufungulia. Na, madamu ni ayako ni safi. Hauna ubaya na mtu. And also, to me, I always say, I'm not competing with any friend of mine or anybody. I'm competing with this poverty. I'm competing with my life. Yeah. I want to see myself somewhere. I want to see myself. I want to see my kids somewhere. Mm -hmm. I want also to inspire and motivate someone somewhere. True. So I just woke up and posted it. And luckily I just got an amazing, wonderful woman. Your first client. My first client. Okay. And she was like, I want Mitai, I want some Mosas. You kindly I've sent you M Pesa. And so I she didn't paid. even ask. For that money or even any down payment, it just came. Like tomorrow, me na taka samosa na taka mitai. Ni makutume mpesa. Ni kiona mpesa. It's three thousand. First hey. client ame kujana capital ya kwanza business. Ame kujana capital ya kwanza biashara. <laughs> what do you do? Ona terem kala yo. So that is how I started this uh, this thing. Millions are to snacks. Pini juzi sasa. Hii Ramadhani meisha. Ramadhani tu. Hmm. Ramadhani kaendelea. Ka, ka mm -hmm. Day by day I was getting clients. Day by day. Alhamdulillah, whenever I give I, or I supply someone, I give someone my services, mm -hmm. anakuja na mungine. Anakuja na mungine. 
So it's all about that passion, dedication, and you trust yourself, that self-trust. You know you can do it. See, ati, maisha ndio imi ni skuma kufanya. But what, what are I, you doing about yes, it? Yes, there are a lot of things that I'd want to do, eh? mm-hmm. but I'm not passionate about it. Na izamka leo ni seme, eh, nilikuwa na duka pale, wacha niende ni katafute mangwe isili, ni kuje ni uze. Ama nianze kabie shara hata kama niya, 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 but, ni talanta yangu kweli kufanya hizo. Hauna passion. I'm not passionate. Yeah. I'm not dedicated. Yeah. Nita choka, in fact, nita kule kapito nika imaliza. Mm-hmm. Afadhali ya kupika, leo nita pika, ah, kesho nitaona, eh, wacha ni chenchi uminu. So it's fun, na ni work bado. Yes. Mm-hmm. So it became as fun. Then I decided, oh, sasa ni faham. Faham bakers, faham caterers. Na ikakua your next business now after Corona landed. Yes, it, it became the next business name. Mm-hmm. Because why did I put it as faham? Mm-hmm. All the names that there has a meaning. It's Farida, mm-hmm. Hadija, mm-hmm. Hawa, Abu, and Maisar. This is me and my children. Wow. So it's just it's just a name that I, I, I just sat and said, oh, let me do something for my kids. Because all of them, they are concerned. All of them, they participate mm-hmm. in a way or another. My son, I'm too much. My son, I'm too much. My son, I'm too much. She's involved in that so business. So we are partners in that business. So we are partners. Hadija, I need you to write for me something. You have the best handwriting in my house. I need you to write for me. Ataniandikia. Ma, ibuanga lewe keki kama imesha iva, unilete. She'll make sure. Hawa, nataka cream, nataka icing, and then you can. So, to me, them going, them making that effort. They are part of it. They are part of it. They are part of me, they are part of it. Mm-hmm. So I wouldn't just try uh, Farida's Bakers, no. We include I have to appreciate that them in a yeah. way. So that's how I appreciated them. And so they I feel in, great to be part of it. Yes. Sabu and I enjoy. Yes. Yeah. So that's how I started Faham Bakers. Mm-hmm. Without going to a catering school, without learning, the only thing that I know about myself mm-hmm. is when I want to know something. You'll know it. I'll know it. If I want to be the best cook, I'll be the best cook. Because I'll go to YouTube and learn from this chef, this chef, this chef. Then I yeah. ask myself, what difference can I make? What something, I just need something unique that comes from my own recipe or own menu. And that is how I do it. And everyone can do it. Kilam to aneza ifanya. Kilam to akona your talent image feature iko untapped. Anangoja to akwe triggered. Unaona yeye alikuwa na talent ya kubek, alikuwa triggered na corona. Kama si corona ama mgu wake kuteguka angekuwa bado ko kwa njia. <laughs> <laughs> Kutoka asubuhi 6 mpaka I don't know what time in the night. Of which it was a good business also. You see, so every day kila mtu akona milestone and apiga in the right way. So long as uko na passion, uko dedicated and unaifanya Hey, yo jina ni gumu whole heartedly <laughs> kiroho moja yani yo, yani roho moja. Moja. <laughs> so yeah. acha ni kurudisha nyuma kidogo growing yes. up ulikuwa mm. nataka kuwa nini in life hey. <laughs> <laughs> after lot doctor i'm telling you when i was young i was mm-hmm. so passionate about being a doctor mm-hmm. i really wanted to be a doctor because my mom was sick and uh, she's sick until now Mm-hmm. And the life that we are brought up in or with, I, I, I'm so close to her until death. Mm-hmm. I just feel her. I just feel like whenever I look at Elizabeth hospital, in the Kenya hospital, in Apata, maybe she's being mistreated. Maybe Anita nurse nurse Akuji. Maybe doctor, is it doctor? At least we need to make a doctor specifically while we are flying. So this personal doctor will, will maybe turn away or I'm at a busy mahali. Mm-hmm. So I felt like, what the hell? Can I be a doctor in future? I'm going to be a doctor at least to help people. I'm going to help people and I'm going to help people. But I'm going to say that. 
kila mtu inaf, kila kitu inafanyika kwa ile kitu Mwenyezi Mungu amekuandikia ndio unakuwa mhm ile kitu Mwenyezi Mungu ameandika itafanyika ndio itakufanyikia so i wanted to be a doctor in fact i really care about people until today not only her even everyone i feel yeah i feel the pain that people are going through yeah nini likufanya usikuwe daktari <laughs> maisha <laughs> Maisha at the age of 20 I was parent like nowadays I'm so against it like I always tell my daughter oh god please I don't want you to get married now take Wait, your time take your time be independent kwa na kazi yako jisimamie hata ukikuja kuolewa na mtu I'm sorry to tell you guys akuja make decision yake as yes. yeah. so hapo kitambo kulikuwa na arranged marriages Yeah. when you are growing up mm-hmm. so una grow una joa tu umeshapangiwa mtu fulani ama one day mtu ana show up unaambiwa mtu tu ana show up ana 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 kuitisha in marriage surprise boom when you are unaambia kwanza wazee kitambo walikuwa wakwambia ni muislamu wako na dini kweli but uh, at times mimi ile kitu yenye ndambia watoto wangu let them love by themselves wacha wapende Mm-hmm. Ndio masala dini aeke kipaumbele. Lakini achukue time ajue huyu mtu ni aina gani. Mhm. Maana yake ukajua kesho. I make decision yeah, mwenyewe. Yeah, decisions I love decisions si hapo wake up. In case of anything. Yeah, case of anything. sana kila mtu mwenye anaendelea kutu watch. Ningependa kuchukua hii fursa. Kushukuru sana si mama na Kibra. Hawa sio wamesimama na sisi leo kwa nao kwa hii show kuna vitu wametuletea ambazo nitakuwa na trivia question hapo baadaye nitauliza hiyo question mwenye atapata the right answer atatunukiwa t-shirt mzuri sana umeelewa Kiswahili atatunukiwa <laughs> t-shirt mzuri sana na simama na kibra so nispo sitasahau anyway nitakumbuka hiyo trivia question lazima nikumbuke nilikuwa nasema nisipouliza nitauliza sikizi sahau Saizi niko kwa comment section nataka ku interact na wase. Wenye wamekuwa wakiwatch hopefully nitapata maswali mingi. Cafe Kalil asante sana kwa kuwatch. Hassan Mahmoud tunakushukuru sana. Mohamed Nasur tumekuona tunakushukuru. Kuna hapa Asina Rajab. Eh huyo wachana na e. <laughs> Asante sana muendelee kupost maswali zenu zote na zitafuta na zitafuta ni venye zina sijui zinaenda wapi anyway kuna Mohamed Nasur anasema iron lady my boy is celebrating his birthday today courtesy of Faham Bakers thank you thank you thank you ulikushadiliwa keki lakini au kabisa tusikote tumeka hapa na birthday boy anangoja keki kabisa Ah, ah wengine aki nitazisoma baadaye sasa hizi sizioni nitazisoma but najua mko hapo nitawataja wote saa hizi tu saa hizi nitawataja tuko na YouTube channel ukienda hapo kwa YouTube search tubonge vijana talk show kwa wale wenye watamis hii shows ya leo inapostiwa baadaye kwa YouTube channel yetu so ukiwa na any comments any question anything you want to tell us uta comment either on this show hapa FB ama on the YouTube u search tubonge vijana talk show utapata link yetu baada ya hii show sawa sawa and now to motherhood farida how is it juggling motherhood yo biashara zote hizo na watoto ile kitu mtasema mm-hmm. Lazima kama mama utakuwa na mipangilio yako. Mm-hmm. Uh, vile mwanzo niliambia nilikuwa ya center nikifanya kazi ya kuajiriwa. Mm-hmm. Alafu nika feel like hata uh, watoto paka wakaanza ku question like mom do you really exist? Nikaanza at least biashara ambapo naweza kutakon nao kama nilipokuwa uba nilikuwa nikifanya mm-hmm. naweza amka katika chao usiku nifanye kazi then at five i go back ni watayarishe ni wapeleke shule. Mm-hmm. So there's a that carbon that we build in between. Mm-hmm. So nikiwapeleka shule nitauliza ah melala aje nini nini then I can continue working. Mm-hmm. But by three, mm-hmm. huwa nafunga kazi. 
Mm-hmm. Kufunga kazi yangu unajua three mchana. Yeah, three mm-hmm. mchana. Mm-hmm. Unajua at least I'll have an hour of sleep. Mm-hmm. That power nap mm-hmm. then I'll go and pick my kids. Mm-hmm. Alafu nirudi niwapikie mhm tukae tufanye homework tujadiliane mm-hmm. tupie stories zetu by then i came to realize after the hardships of life mm-hmm. hakuna kitu important kama watu in life mhm uh, and your best friend should be your kids true so i decided to dedicate myself with my kids i wanted to know more about them but i realized in life yelling can never make that kid open up to you. So you said you pigia kelele, so you said no. Unafaa kwa ule mwanadamu like you understand vile uta unataka mtu mwingine akuelewe. Huyu ni mtoto wako bwana, lazima umuelewe. So this kid anataka attention yako, anataka time yako, anataka ufurahike na yeye, hata kama ni kwenda mali uende mali na yeye lakini at the end of the day unajua ya kwamba whom toto ume build this that car relationship and you may build nae mm-hmm. so mimi upande ya malezi na mm-hmm. ni kitu yenye nitaambia hata wazazi wangu mm-hmm. there's nothing nothing in this world that can replace the love you have between you and your kids true leo kazi yako itapotea mm-hmm. lakini ma, ukiwa na wapenzi na wale watoto pale pale i've gone through a lot of hardships with these kids and i thank god that they've been always there with me like ma It's okay. Ma, what can I do? Ma, anything that you have in that stable unajua. Na sasa hivi napata I know oh, hey, no. the first thing, ah toto lazima ni wapeleke out. Ah toto lazima ni wafurahishe na nile kitu fulani. Yeah. So upande wa motherhood I'm okay. <laughs> Umesema watu wasi shout. I'm very okay. How do you even do that? Uh, are there there. Ah watoto kwanza huyu mwenye umesema mwenye anapenda attention. Yes. Atavunja hata kikombe ndo umwangalie. <laughs> How do you not shout? Sure. <laughs> Uh, there's a there's this kasha utile ya ya kizazi <laughs> naeleweka but kuna that can nagging mother you know yeah. like even now then you have Anasha, to push yeah. these kids you, you have to remind her that uh, or even you can even insult your kid in a way that this kid don't realize umem insult but to be honest unam demoralize like yeah, ana, ana give up life yake. yeah so you have to be friendly with that kid and you have no siwai kulinganisha mtoto na mtoto wa mtu mwingine true you have to accept your kids the way they are growing up ushaikuwa ushaipoteza self esteem yako maybe ukabodishemiwa or maybe in a time mtu ashai ku make feel less of a person like growing up when you are still young najua sasa hizi unaweza tackle join mtu mzima you are like ah. <laughs> by then nilikuwa ilikuwa vitu za kishenzi sana zilikuwa zinanikasirisha because i grew up here with my adopted family yeah. so i was the only lighter one up Hai mm-hmm. wala alikuwa akisema msungu I'll get like where am I ni nini I'll cry my eyes off but alhamdulillah I had a, my dad was someone like highs entertain vitu za vitu kama hizo mm-hmm. but uh, that self esteem like nini when I grew up when I, I got married when I was still so young so when I grew up at the, I was so bitter because my life was like being a roller coaster so at the back of my of my mind i wanted to know where do i belong mm-hmm. so even when the f- my divorce came i hated i came to like hating men like all men are the same but dini pia ni muhimu ibada pia ni muhimu kama mwenyezi Mungu mbele the things that you just sh- yani you just smile to of like ah, it doesn't concern me Hey, when I say my virus, I see someone can do that. <laughs> It is easy if you believe, eh? If you believe. Is, uh, even when someone talks ill of you, if you put it in your mind, your life will be at a at a stop, yeah? yeah you won't head anywhere. But ukiona ah, ni jambo la kawaida, eh? Ushaiona mtu nini mti yenye haina matunda ikirushiwa ma lazima iko na kitu nzuri. Juat pana utapata many youths. Yeah. 24 23 hey imenikumbusha story ya jogging <laughs> unapata watu wanaamka wanaenda jogging because mtu amekuabodisha oh kitambia yako ni kubwa oh you need to do squats upate siju nini yo siju ufanye nini so these people are doing things just because kuna mtu amembodisha of which it's the right push and the wrong push all mm. in the same measure yeah. unaona so itakuwa kitu mzuri na kitu mbaya at the same time 
Na kuna watu pia wanaenda jogging. Sijua me influence wana nani ama kufanya nini, <laughs> but they are just going to do and to go and see ni nini watu fanya huko and at the end of the day they end up doing bad nothing. things. Not even nothing bad things, mm-hmm. but mimi nimeona vitu ziki trend. Youths wanaenda 16 17 years wanaenda ku jog sijui ni roa sijui ni inaitwa day of flyover ya huko langata mm-hmm. na wakishafika huko they start doing their own yeah. things mm-hmm. of which is very bad yeah. most of them wana pushiwa na low self esteem na wengine wanaenda tu just of because of curiosity or something mm-hmm. of which is not good tufanye vitu the right things at the right time alafu nimewapata nyinyi watu wa comments kuna rahma kitao ambia farida kami na kuja classes <laughs> Una chadisha classes. <laughs> Rahma hizi soma bure homes yako na do. <laughs> Kuna Kamari Maka, thank you. Kuna James Kambiga, locked and following closely. At Yasmin, thank you. Kuna Brian Otieno, nimekuona asanti sana. Kuna Tamima Nyarkano. Pia amesema anakuja lesson za jikoni. <laughs> Utafungua whole class <laughs> ninaona. <laughs> Kuna Tamima Nyarkano again anasema Farida Kamis na kupenda bure mami true definition of a strong woman she motivates me sana Kuna Tina Junel waya umesmile sana <laughs> Nani amesmile ni mimi amani Farida <laughs> Sasa sana, sana, sana. tuna appreciate feedback yenu ndio tujue hata nyinyi mko the other side hatuwezi kwa tumekaa tu hapa tunajiongelesha na tujui kama mko ama mko when you respond inatutia Nipa nini moral na tia moral, mm. moral yeah. ya kuendelea ku nini na nyinyi. Yeah. So Farida Kamis. On to my last question. Na dume tuletea keki. That's why naenda <laughs> niko rada na hiyo keki mbaya sana. Nataka nikuulize my two questions, my two last question. Yes. In fact, my three la- uh, keki itakuwa my two last questions. <laughs> yes. Hisho ni ya nani? Hisho ni ya kila mtu. Uh-huh. Kila kijana, every uh-huh. youth Mm-hmm. Not only in Kibra, everywhere, Magbare, when they want to be, mm-hmm. pale loving talk. Mm-hmm. As long as you are youth, mm-hmm. usilalie talata. Mm-hmm. Isho ni enyu, mufaidike na ayo. Mm-hmm. Mtu yote ambaya nakuja, ambaya atakumotivate, ambaya atakuinspire. Mm-hmm. Hasa mimi, mm-hmm. if you want me, niko pale Facebook, Farida Hamis. Ukipata any advice, ukitaka any advice, a shoulder to lean on, uneza ni mm-hmm. inbox. But isho ni enyu nyote. Alafu umesema Fahim Bakers. Watu wakitaka makeki na masweet, makeki peke yake ni wewe. Watu wakitaka hizo <laughs> makeki wakupate wapi wakupate uko na page ya Fahim, mama Fahim Bakers uh, page in Facebook pale. Mm-hmm. Namba yangu pia inazunguka everywhere. Ukienda Fahim Bakers utapata namba yangu. Mm-hmm. Uh, anytime it's not only about cake. Ukitaka biryani, mm-hmm. catering outside catering Farida iko hapa. Mm-hmm. Ukitaka donuts everything mm-hmm. like mm-hmm. pastries if you want pastries cakes if you want full menu chakula mm-hmm. yote mm-hmm. when it affected so you do even big events sisi chakula za nyumba peke yake harusi yes. matanga yes kila kitu <laughs> sana sana harusi tuatane na matanga mm-hmm. sasa sa, what would you tell your younger self like what would you tell your 20 year old self i'll tell my 20 year old self Uh-huh. I wish I knew this before. Uh-huh. I wish I didn't sleep on my talent. Uh-huh. I could be far much in a better place than where I am now. Uh-huh. I thank God where I am, but it's not too late for my younger 20 years. If I have something I know I'm talented, I'm not passionate about, I'll uh-huh. gladly do it. Yeah. Thank you everyone for watch. I can't go excited. Ni vyenye niona kake simila. Nataka ku big up our crew. Wakina Abdul Aziz wako behind the camera. Kuna Sudi, kuna Sina Rajab, kuna H, kuna Abdul Suleiman. I want to big up the whole crew, the whole crew. Inafaa wako na leta keki size but in the meantime nataka nipeane our post notification shout outs kwa watu wenyewe wamekuwa wakifuatilia show yetu. Hey, I have a whole notebook. Wenye wamekuwa kifatilia show yetu. Mtu wa kwanza ni Tamima. Tamima leo nimekutaja. This is the 112 times na kutaja kwa isho. Thank you for watching our show kila siku. Kuna Hanifine. Thank you for watching and supporting the show. Hanifine unatupanga feedback mzuri sana. Hope watu na wako them the way you want. As I talk, my Chris coming in with a cake. So 
I want to give another post notification shout out to Kalebi. Thank you for sharing and watching our shows. <laughs> then I want to give a post notification shout out to Simama na Kibra. Refiga, thank you for this token that you've given us today. And nilisema nitapea na trivia question. Sija sahau mimi ndo huyu hapa na hiyo swali. Swali yangu ni Simama na Kibra wanafanya nini exactly? If you know what these guys are doing, comment below your answer. Mwenye ata comment the right answer wa first, atapata t-shirt ya bure. Na t-shirt ni kama ile yenye imeonyeshwa pale. Inaweza kuwa any color, green, white, blue, any color you want, but mtapata t-shirt. Sawa sawa. The first person to comment the right answer. My question is Simama na Kibra wanafanya nini exactly in the community? What do these guys do? Then continue subscribing on our YouTube channel. Continue liking and sharing Badotkogogo Boys FB. So you can comment on that then share. Invite people to watch our shows. Pale YouTube ni at Tubonge Vijana Talk Show. Comment, like, share. You can even download and watch later. So the show goes for one hour. So you can comment, who like, uki like inatufanya tujue kama umependa contact yetu. Sawa. Na uki comment inafanya tujue ni nini tuna improve. Subscribing is free. Commenting is free. And everything is free because we are here for you people. Now is the moment to eat your cake. Yaki waleni ngoja. Asira, kuja tuna hiyo cake. Here comes the awaited moment. Ningependa pia ku invite kila mtu kwa hii set. Tukate cake. So, karibuni sana. Keki ndo hii. Mwenyeza kula online. Farida. Venye wana comment wa kule hivyo hivyo. Ha. Hii ni mimi melete. At least crew tungekuja tukate pamoja. Abdulaziz. Kuja. Na nikikumbusha vijana talanta ni kitu kama hizi unaweza kuwa fundi wa viatu toka wacha kulala amka endo kafishone viatu unaweza kuwa fundi wa nguo unaweza kuwa mpishi beka kitu yote pale tafadhali na kuomba wacha kulala please sikuizi hakuna mtu atakusaidia kupatie bonge la pesa leo kesho watu wanachoka kwa hivyo naomba tafadhali tumieni talanta yenu kupata njia ya kueleweka As we cut the cake, you people should join us in eating it online. When you tumekuwa pamoja kwa hii show, wacha tukue pamoja tukikula. Are we singing happy birthday? Happy birthday or something or we just cut? We just cut. Happy birthday something. Rahma nasikia kiwaru ameongelelea hii keki. Karo ndo hii keki. Kujia mtu ra tumeishana. Thank you guys you can join us next Sunday at 3 p.m. kwa hisho yetu ya tubonge vijana talk show. I've been your host Yasmin Musinzi. Bye. Oh.